looks like another day of sunshine here. It's um, the second day of usable sun for January. Uh, a couple days ago, we had four hours of sun. Today, um, it's 119, and we'll probably get two or three hours, maybe two. And right now, I've got the digital thermostat, and with no fan, oops, sticking in the air, or sticking in the hole itself, it just changed. Um, okay, it looks like 124 degrees. I'm going to start with the small fan here, and put it in... I've got a kilowatt meter. The small fan will turn it on. And as soon as you turn it on, the temperature starts going up to, at the moment, 142 degrees. The meter says that this fan is 120 amps, 15 volts, 13.8. Let's see. You're getting the view. 13.7, 60 hertz. Okay, and now we're up to 153 degrees with the small fan. If you take the, um, what do you call that, the end of the device out and put it onto the metal, temperature decreased but now it'll start warming back up in a minute just the metal itself increases the temperature so if these vents were metal instead of um, plastic inside with metal lining the heat would more than likely be a lot higher now I'm going to turn the small fan off and put the, um, this fan in. This is the fan that you would use in a greenhouse to circulate the airflow. The fan itself, um, what was it, 160 CFM versus the small fan was uh, 35 CFM. That's um, cubic feet per minute. The airflow, take it out of here. A little, I'm hitting on the plastic, I think, inside there. Okay, the temperature just rose to, or no, it just got lost. We'll put the this. Back into the air hose, hose back there. Let it change for a minute. Okay, up here I've got 120 amps. No, this was 120 volts, 50 amps, 30 watts, and again 60 hertz. So this one takes uh, about three times the, what was it, amps that the other one did. But um, the temperature is now up to 156 degrees inside the pipe. And then going out of the pipe, you get a lot more air than you do. And the airflow ratio, I guess that's what it's called, is better. But um, if this, when it goes to be actually set up, the um, return vent right here, will actually go on the north side of the house and it'll be pulling cold air in from the north side and then blowing it back in on this side and the south side where the heat is going and that'll bring a draw through the house to get the air to circulate more in the house and I haven't decided yet how I'm going to run the um, pipes under the house or through the um, attic and um, the way they were originally installed was on, 
the panel on the roof and through the attic, but I'm not going to put that kind of weight on my roof. I've also found we did have two days of sunshine that were totally unusable because our temperature was like one or two degrees and it was below zero. And at that kind of temperature, there was no heat at all going to come out of these. We're up to 156 now with this one. And um, it's kind of like going out to your car. Um, there's no way if the sun's beating on it all day and zero degree temperatures is the car going to be warm. So I'm going to have to build a box that's insulated for the panels outside when I go to install them permanently. Um, let me grab my bill. Okay, here's the exciting news about my electric bill. Usage down 25.2%. In 2014, I used um, 4,905 kilowatts. 2016, 3,669 kilowatts. So, um, there is some energy savings from, um, I had 50.5 hours in November, um, 26 hours in December, and so far now, um, maybe 10, we'll say, um, no, 4, 6, either 6 or 7 hours so far this month for January but by adding this and then in the attic here in the um the what do you call it kitchen I've added insulation to the roof because I'm not going to close the ceiling in the kitchen yet I've still got wiring and other things to do with it but that's the only other addition I've added this year to inc you know increase the amount of heat and cooling that's saved and or what do you call not saved keeping it in the house sorry i'm having a few issues with words and then if you go in here and look i've got um this is a bedroom storage room the bubble foil that you use for um insulation i've taken it and putting it on um this is the north side windows and this room I don't heat at all and I've got it on this and in the bathroom and um, I've only had to turn on heat maybe two times when we were below zero and in the other bedroom over there I've got it on those windows also I've got it on the bottom of the windows in my room on the north side and that has contributed to energy savings and um we had a cooler july so air conditioning for july you know july went down in temperature so that added to a little bit of the savings but you know that's the good news and the update for today thanks for watching